Hello guys and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be talking about the 5 new classic slash historic teams they should add to the next game, which is NBA 2K21. Anyway, let's go. So the first team I've got on this list is the 2014-15 Atlanta Hawks, who were coached by Mike Budenholzer and won 60 games and became the first first seed to get swept in the NBA um, playoffs for a very long time. Uh, they lost to the Cavs 0-4 that year. The Cleveland Cavaliers went to the finals and obviously had some controversy with the injuries they had to deal with. Um, they played at the Phillips Arena, of course. They're still there right now. This is, the, this is probably one of the last years of that team's proper, I guess, contending, if you want to call it. But anyways, so 2K should add this team because they have a few teams from that era and will make it interesting. They also have the likes of Kent Bazemore, Elton Brandt, Damari Carroll, Al Horford, um, Kyle Korver, Shelvin Mack, Paul Millsap, Mike Muscala, Dennis Schroeder, Mike Scott, Thubba Sevalosha, and then finally Jeff Teague in the game already as of this year's game, making that lineup of 10 to 11 players very possible. I don't really see the excuse here for 2K because they would have a lot of the roster in the game already, so I think they should just go ahead and add this. And it'll be one of those small changes they can make to the game, which would make everyone a lot more happy to play it. So on to number four. Number four is the 2012-13 Los Angeles Lakers, as you can tell. This is the infamous super team, which had the likes of Steve Nash, Pal Gasol, Kobe Bryant, Dwight Howard, and a few leftovers from those championship runs prior, or like playoff runs prior to this season. They were coached by Mike Brown before he got fired due to a terrible start to the season, which was 0-8 in preseason, and then 1-4 uh, in the regular season, which led to him being sacked and then replaced with Mike D'Antoni. Uh, the Lakers finished with 45 wins and 37 losses, good enough to be 7th in the Western Conference. This team dealt with a lot of injuries and um, had to really fight through it. And it's probably Kobe's one of Kobe's last seasons where he was at his best. And he had to just fight through a lot of things to make it happen for his team. And then uh, th this roster has the likes of Kobe Bryant, Pau Gasol, Jordan Hill, Antoine Jameson, Dwight Howard, Jody Meeks, Steve Nash, Robert Sacre, and Meta World Peace, also known as Ron Artest. They have a couple players here and there that they might be able to add or might already have in the game that I'm being mistaken for. But this team was one of the more popular teams in the, in this season that they played together. And it would be pretty interesting for them to add a team, of course, with Kobe without Shaq honouring um, his career and legacy after what happened to him in the month of January. And we'll hopefully have this team added by 2K for the next game. So at number three, we have the 2016-17 Boston Celtics led by MVP caliber Isaiah Thomas, who is averaging around 29 points per game on pretty good efficiency, considering the fact that he's 5'9", and probably by far one of the smallest and best NBA players in history of his height. Anyways, this team managed to win 53 games and was actually first in the Eastern Conference. These were some of the times where the Eastern Conference was at its worst, which meant 53 games was first in uh, that conference, which is pretty iffy. They ended up losing 4-1 to the Cavaliers, getting blown out of the water by a playoff-focused LeBron. And in one of the games, I can't recall, it, they probably dealt one of the biggest losses in um, playoffs history as they were beaten by around 40-50 points. Anyways, onto their roster. Avery Bradley was on that team along with Jalen Brown. They had Jay Crowder, Gerald Green, Al Horford, uh, Jonas Jerebko, Amir Johnson... They had Kelly Olenek, they had Terry Rozier, they had Marcus Smart, Isaiah Thomas, and then Tyler Zeller, which is, only leaves a handful of players from that roster that actually aren't in the game of 2K right now. I think this team was a very interesting team as you look at all those players, and they've left that system with Brad Stevens, and they've actually fallen, not fallen apart, but their careers haven't been the same. Obviously, Isaiah Thomas has been the journeyman, uh, that we all know. Avery Bradley is a glorified role player. And Marcus Smart, of all players, is the only one that is still on that roster. Al Horford ended up going to Philadelphia. You have the likes of Kelly Olenek in Miami. Tyler Zell is kind of borderline in the league now. But yeah, Jalen Brown's rookie year as well. And then they ended up picking up Tatum with that Nets pick they got from the Billy King situation. But yeah, 
I think this would be a great team to add it into the mix of the 2010s team they have. So here at number two, we have the 2008-2009 Orlando Magic, led by, I say quote-unquote, Superman Dwight Howard. This is around the times where he was having feuds with Shaquille O'Neal over who Superman was. Uh, obviously, the Orlando fans thought that it was Dwight. Anyways, the team led by Stan Van Gundy as coach managed to win 59 games and lo managed to lose only 23 in the Eastern Conference. They were third in the Eastern Conference during this time, which is pretty surprising due to that win total. But this is around the time of the Celtics and the Cavs, so it's not that big of a surprise now that I reflect on it. Anyway, the NBA Finals was contested between them and the Los Angeles Lakers, and the revenge riddled Kobe managed to beat them 4-1 with Orlando just taking the one game. This roster was really interesting and it was one of the last seasons of I guess this team being functional and that as Dwight Howard I guess had a bit of drama and beef with Stan Van Gundy and then ended up leaving the team if it were um, dead I guess. They kind of didn't really finish on the best note. Anyway this team had notable players such as Adonal Foyle, Marcin Gortat, Dwight Howard, Courtney Lee, Rashad Lewis, Tyron Lue, Jameer Nelson, JJ Redick, and Hito Turkoglu, which makes a roster of about seven to nine players possible. They'll obviously have to consider whether they do that, but some other teams in this game only have like two players on the bench, so I think the 2K, with the time and resources they have, should be able to find a way to make this happen. And yeah, that's the second team I want to see added into NBA 2K21, the Dwight Howard Magic. I just want to quick, quickly take a minute to acknowledge honourable mentions for this list. I would have also liked to have seen the 0405 Pacers added, the 1213 Minnesota Timberwolves added, and then the tall and small Washington Wizards or Bullets from 1987 to 88, which had Muggsy Bogues and a Minute Ball. But without any more being said, the first team, or the team I want to see added to the next 2K game the most, is the 2008-9 Lakers that beat the Orlando Magic. I would have preferred to have the 9-10 one just for the storyline, but this team actually has more players in the game that a 2K license, so it's more likely to happen. They won 65 games led by Phil Jackson and were good enough to be first in the Western Conference. This roster featured Trevor Ariza, Kobe Bryant, Andrew Bynum, Derek Fisher, Pau Gasol, Adam Morrison, Lamar Odom, Sasha Vujicic, and Luke Walton. Now, there are probably a couple more players that they can add that are notable names missing from the game, but I think that 2K should be able to do this considering that this is probably the team or era that Kobe is most known for without Shaq, and it would be a fun team to play with considering all the 2000s teams and 2010 teams that they have that fit that sort of timeline that this team played in. Anyways guys, if you have made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you like the video and subscribe because it really helps the channel as a lot of my viewers aren't actually subscribed to my channel. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Until the next video, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.